you're new here, then my name is Brooke and I make coffee and stuff like that. And today we are going to be reviewing Coffee Bay Coffee. Um, if you don't know who Coffee Bay is or like that situation, basically, I want to describe her like she's a girl on TikTok who makes coffee and got really famous for it because her videos are like aesthetic and stuff. And now she has her own coffee brand that just came out like a month ago. That's as best. I, that is the best that I can describe it. Um, I'm trying to do her justice. She makes really pretty videos and stuff, but today we're going to be reviewing her coffee. Um, I bought her coffee. Here it is in this little box. I hear something moving around in there though, so that sounds like a little concerning to me, but if you guys are interested in watching me make some lattes with this or like a latte with this, then you clicked on the right video and just keep watching. All right, so. The coffee came in this box. I'm sitting on the ground because, I don't know, old YouTube style, you know, like old school YouTube, just like see people sitting on the ground doing unboxings. And I felt like I wanted to bring that into today's video. So I did, because I run this. This is my channel. And I can do what the fuck I want, right? Okay. So this is what it came in, the box that it came in. to give you guys a good angle of this. Alright, let's see if it'll focus. It's too bright. This thing's too bright. Okay. Oh, it came with a little sticker. It says Papa Choppy Milk. Come on. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see it pretty good and then I'm gonna like focus on the box so you can see every little piece of this unboxing because the camera is just not doing me justice right now. So this is a sticker. Come on. You see it? Pop a chalky milk. And it's just a little sticker. That's cute. I didn't order that. I just came with the beans. This is the box. It's a little like, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of shiny, so it's like... There we go. So you're not going to be able to see my head, but that's okay. Okay, she feels heavy. Coffee Bay, Coffee Bay. Origin is Brazil, process is natural, flavor notes are vibrant, smooth, and rich. It, the back says... Locally roasted coffee babies. Coffee is more than just a drink and it's it's an experience. Delicate process of making coffee cannot be rushed, which is why the first step to create the perfect cup of coffee starts with great beans. Can you see that now? Okay, there we go. This is brewing methods. You see, you might be able to see the front a little more now. Cute. And then it says roasted in small batches in Cosset, Massachusetts. I don't know if I said that right, so no. It's a 12 ounce box. I can smell the beans already, so that's a good sign. Ooh, this is cute. This cute little clear packaging, very aesthetic. You can see the beans. Now, what I will say is the beans don't look very oily, which I like a good oily bean. Um, not to say that these won't be good, but it's kind of hard because the package is clear, so it's like reflecting, but the beans look pretty matte. Let's pop the beans open. Now, packaging. It's cute. I like that it's clear and stuff. I would prefer a zipper on the packaging just to keep the beans um, sealed better. Uh, like on Chamberlain, Chamberlain coffee beans, the packaging had a zipper and it's just, it helps keep the beans fresh. So that's one critique so far. The beans smell good. I, that's, that sounds like an app to criticize. Like I'm not trying to, maybe that sounds kind of rude to like nitpick at. I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to give you guys a full breakdown of what I'm seeing. 
So I mean, it has this little hole, cute, so the beans can breathe, you can smell them, all that. Most coffee beans have, most coffee bags have this on there. My only thing, yeah, is like it would be cool if it um, sealed again. The beans were a little expensive. I think it was like 20 bucks, and then it was like $10 or like $8 on shipping. So for an expensive bag of beans, I want a little better packaging. That's all I'm gonna say. As far as if they are organic or anything like that, I it doesn't say, so I assume probably not. That would just be my guess, is they're probably not organic. Um, not a huge deal. I do prefer organic for organic beans if I'm spending a good amount on beans I want them to be organic these aren't organic but that's okay we're gonna give them a shot they smell delicious so um, yeah so I'm going to make some lattes with this I'm gonna make an ice latte with it which is pretty cool because it says on here like on the back of the box like the brewing methods like espresso is like 1 to 2 drip is 1 to 17 Pour over is 1 to 17 and cold brew is 1 to 8. Really cool. Um, no beans I've bought ever have that on there, so that's really informative. I like that. It's a nice touch. I do like the little sticker that it comes with. It's cute. Very her brand, you know? Papa Choppy Milk. Love her. Like I said, her videos are. They're popping. She knows what she's doing. She knows how to make a good cup of coffee. Alright, so. With all that being said, I do like that the package is clear. I do like that. I would just like a little zipper. That's all I'm saying. That's it. Not like a zipper, but like, you know the ones where you're like, shh, 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 like a Ziploc? That would be cool, because it keep the air real secure in the beans, but that's okay. I'm gonna just move it into an airtight container. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. I'm just throwing it out there. Dum -dum. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Let's go make a ice latte with this and see how the espresso pools. I'm very excited. Very excited for these beans. And on the beans a little bit now that they're ground up. It looks really nice. Um, a nice beautiful medium roast color. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around because... I feel like it wouldn't be a coffee bay video if I didn't put a lot of ice and spill some of the drink. I mean, it wasn't on purpose, but it works out. I wish I had her cute little spoon to mix it, but I don't. Try this. Okay, girl! Okay! Okay! This is really good. Okay, girl. I see you, Vivian. 
you know what you're doing. This is good. This is good. This is good. I would definitely repurchase these beans. It's freaking good. Wow. I might have added four shots of espresso. It's possible. I had to, come on. I had to get the full coffee espirion. These beans. Take my money, girlfriend. Take it. Take it. They're very good. My only downfall, like I said, I don't want to be a bit picky about things. I'm just going to be honest and give my honest opinion. My only downfall would be the packaging. If you had like a, a resealable package on the beans would be really great. Um, it just keeps the beans fresher longer. I think that'd be great. I love your packaging. It's very cute. I like the clear uh, bag. Just that resealable part is the only thing that's like getting me a little bit. Would it be cool if the beans were organic? Yes. It's not a deal breaker for me. Um, this tastes really good. It tastes like good quality beans. If I got this latte at a coffee shop, I would definitely make my way back in there and buy another one. It's just an iced almond milk latte with um, some maple syrup in there. I'm sure it'd be good unsweetened, but I couldn't not sweeten it and then say that it was like bitter or something because I drink all of my lattes sweetened, so that just wouldn't be fair. Um, but with the taste of these beans, I feel like you could get away with drinking it unsweetened even if you like your coffee sweet. So, I think you did a good job, girl. Good job, Vivian. You know what you're doing, homegirl. I would definitely buy your fall drop when it comes out. These beans are delicious. And congratulations on releasing your own coffee launch. That's super exciting. That's super dope. Like, good for you, you know? Way to hustle, way to do it. And I will continue to support your business because I like the beans. And I like you as a person. You seem like you're a chill person. You're probably never gonna see this video. So I don't know why I'm rambling out on like we best friends, but. With all that being said, I hope that you guys like this video. Let me know if you want me to do like a Coffee Bay versus Chamberlain Coffee taste test. We could make that happen. We could make that happen. I'm gonna have to try these beans as cold brew and then get back to you guys on if I like the way they taste as cold brew. I'm sure I will. It tastes great as espresso. It's freaking beautiful. So, yeah. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. And once again, congratulations to Vivian. This is a great coffee. I love the beans. I will be repurchasing. They are great. They're worth the $9 in shipping. So don't you worry. And yeah. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a good day, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and thank you so much for watching.